Well, for those watching on the live stream, we welcome you. It's a blizzard out there today, so only two brave souls have made it to church today. So can we welcome all those who through modern technology can participate in this mass, the great feast day of the holy name of Jesus. Our quote for today is, I bought an exercise bike. It holds all the rest of my laundry that doesn't fit on my treadmill. So the holy name of Jesus, there is no holier name than the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, St. Paul says that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bend in heaven, on earth, and even under the earth. Today is roughly eight days after the Lord's birth. Traditionally, on the eighth day after the birth of a male Jewish child, he would be circumcised and given his name. And we know it was St. Joseph who had the privilege of naming our Lord Jesus Christ. The angel Gabriel had told him that you, Joseph, son of David, are to name him Jesus. And also the angel Gabriel had told the Blessed Mother, Gabriel said to Mary, that you will conceive and bear a son, and he shall be called Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. As you know, the name Jesus is Yeshua in Aramaic, which means, of course, Joshua, means Yahweh is our salvation. God is our savior. So the very name of Jesus is his identity, his mission, because that's who Jesus is, Yahweh, God, who saves us. And we know that, especially for the Jewish community, the name of the person represented the entire person. To respect somebody's name was to respect them as a person. That's why it says in the Our Father, hallowed be thy name, which means God, may you be honored and respected and revered all throughout the world. May your name be held holy, which of course is God himself. We know it was God who revealed his name to Moses on Mount Sinai. He said, I am who am. And the chosen people had such great reverence for the name of God, they would not even write it out. They would not even pronounce it. It was only allowed to be said one day a year by the high priest when he entered the Holy of Holies. Only he could say the name of God. And even when they wrote it, they would just write the, the consonants, not the vowels. So Y-H-W-H. And of course, we know that as Yahweh. But oftentimes they referred to God as Adonai or El Shaddai or Lord. So that's what great respect they had for the holy name of Jesus. We know eventually this feast day was celebrated in different countries and for example, England and Germany back in the 1400s. It was really the Franciscans who promoted devotion to the holy name of Jesus, especially the great Saint Bernardine of Siena who died in 1444, the great saint of Siena. And if you go to Siena today in the same town square where they hold the polio races every year, their famous horse races. There is the clock and underneath it the big monogram IHS because Saint Bernard, Bernardine of Siena promoted devotion to the holy name of Jesus. He's the one who made up holy cards with the name IHS, the name of Jesus. And we give those to the families and to the children. We know that if you go to Siena today, you can see the place on the ground where he preached and helped to convert that town by promoting devotion to the holy name of Jesus. He's also the one who had the name Jesus added to the Hail Mary. Before that, the first part of the Hail Mary ended, blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And Bernardine of Siena had the name Jesus added to the Hail Mary. Of course, the other great saint, the Saint John Capistrano, who promoted devotion to the holy name of Jesus. Eventually, the feast day, grew from the Franciscan community to the whole church. It was added to the universal calendar in 1721, but then sadly was taken off the calendar, but thankfully restored by St. John Paul II shortly before he died. So it's now back on the universal church calendar on January 3rd. So appropriate, roughly the, the day that Jesus was given his name by St. Joseph when Jesus was circumcised. You often see the insignia IHS, which are the Greek letters, which 
are the name of Jesus in Greek, the, the initial letters IHS. Also, it in Latin, it stands for Jesus Hominum Salvator, Jesus Savior of the Human Race. And it also in Latin stands for the IHS In Hoc Signo, in this sign you shall conquer. The great vision that Constantine had when he was able to legalize Christianity and won the great battle of the Milvian Bridge and made Christianity legal. So what I would recommend on this great feast day is that we have great love and respect for the holy name of Jesus. Scripture says there is no other name of which we are saved but the name of Christ. The Bible says those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. We know in the Acts of the Apostles, St. Peter would say in the name of Jesus, be healed and he would cure the paralytic and the crippled. So I would recommend that we often say the holy name of Jesus. For example, the Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Or a simple prayer taught by Jesus to St. Faustina, Jesus, I trust in you. Or that beautiful prayer, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, I love you, save souls. So we should never use the name of the Lord our God in vain, lightly or carelessly. It is one of the commandments, one of the most sacred of all the commandments to respect God and his holy name and the Lord's day and to offer reparation every time we hear the name of Jesus being used lightly, carelessly, or in vain. We should say a prayer like in Our Father or blessed be the name of Jesus or other of the divine praises. And there was the Holy Name Society that was established in 1274 to help promote devotion and respect for the holy name of Jesus. Because it's in the name of Jesus that we're given salvation, healing, protection from evil, the spirits, the evil spirits, the very forgiveness of our sins and the grace to carry our crosses. And if you read the lives of the saints, so many of them died with the holy name of Jesus on their lips.